Man, when a physicist and a chemist team up, you know it's about to get real. That's exactly what happened in 1892 when physicist Lord John Rayleigh consulted the assistance of chemist William Ramsey when he noticed some intriguing characteristics about the data he collected from different nitrogen samples. The conundrum Lord Rayleigh faced lied in the density of two distinct samples of nitrogen gas. The first was gas he extracted from the atmosphere, and the second was gas he extracted from chemical compounds. Upon looking at the data, he noticed that the gas extracted from the atmosphere was more dense than the gas extracted from the compounds. Okay, you may be wondering how Rayleigh was able to isolate nitrogen from the atmosphere. Well, Rayleigh used two different methods. The first method involved passing air over hot copper, sparking a chemical reaction that takes the oxygen out of the air by reacting with copper to form copper oxide. The second method it involved passing air through liquid ammonia and then through a hot tube. This causes a chemical reaction in which the oxygen in the air reacts with the ammonia to form water and nitrogen gas. Since Rayleigh used both methods, he had samples that were purely atmospheric nitrogen and samples that were a combination of atmospheric nitrogen and nitrogen extracted from the ammonia. From this, he was able to measure both samples and therefore find that the copper oxide samples were more dense than the ammonia samples. When Ramsey came to assist Rayleigh, the two had differing opinions on what was causing the disharmony. Lord Rayleigh made the hypothesis that something in the chemical samples was making it less dense than the atmospherically extracted samples, whereas Ramsey hypothesized that some other substance was in the atmosphere that made the atmospheric samples more dense than the chemical ones. They did a range of experiments on both nitrogen types to get to the root of the problem. They used a variety of tools to observe spectra of the gases so they could see absorption and emission lines to properly characterize the substances. They managed to extract the unknown substance from the nitrogen and found that it was highly unreactive, despite many, many, and I mean many, attempts by Ramsey to get it to react with literally anything he could get his hands on. Eventually, they came to the conclusion that they had discovered a new element in the more dense atmospheric sample, and they named it argon, coming from the Greek word argos, meaning lazy. Although the research and testing done by the two scientists was extremely thorough, the conclusion of there being a new element was still a controversial one at the time, which actually was sort of unusual. I mean, more than 40 elements had been discovered in the 19th century already, so what was the big deal? Well, the main answer to that question is the periodic table. Considering the nature of argon as highly unreactive, that would put it at a spot all by itself on the periodic table in 1895, which would either mean that Rayleigh and Ramsey were incorrect in their conclusion, or that they had started an entirely new family of elements on the periodic table, and a whole host of elements were still waiting to be discovered. I'm sure you can see the skepticism now that comes with the assumption of a new element with the properties like argon. Regardless, Ramsey would go on a mission to discover these elements and prove himself and Rayleigh correct. Over the next few years, he came through on his mission. Later that year, he was the first to find traces of helium on Earth, which since 1868 had been discovered, but was only known to exist in the sun. Two years after that, Ramsey and his team added neon, krypton, and xenon to the table. And finally, in 1910, they proved that radon was also a noble gas. The quest to prove his and Rayleigh's initial discovery correct ended up opening an entirely new family of elements on the periodic table. Talk about commitment to a cause. Rayleigh ended up winning the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1904 for his discovery of the differing densities of nitrogen gas and the resulting discovery of argon. And Ramsey won the prize in chemistry in that same year for both the discovery of argon and for earthbound helium. If you liked this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Drop a comment if you learned something or if you have something more to share about the topic. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.